Uh, well, first of all, I think some of the players that got the attention during the game, and deservedly so, would be it would, I would be remiss if I didn't compliment the starters because you know we've gone a couple years. I could give you Black Hill State, Western State, and a few other teams that we thought weren't quite as competitive, and we did not get the leads that we needed to be comfortable to allow some of those other guys uh, minutes. That's not what happened tonight. Uh, I knew that there was an emotional uh, lift the other day, obviously, and I told them to expect a much lighter crowd, and that should not affect your play. Um, and certainly it didn't. Our starters got off to about a 20 to 7 or 20 to 8 lead, which allowed our other guys to show what they can do. And uh, I'm not the most liberal guy in the world when it comes to minutes, but I felt very comfortable because they did get that lead. So, you know, Jason McManaman, Jeremy Lieberman, in particular, a guy who's worked as hard as anybody I've been around this past season, Matt Sellers, really a, a terrific job from start to finish. And had it not been for those last three minutes when I think fatigue kicked in, I think they could have held that team to under 40. All right, so were you equally impressed with the way your starters came out or, or the better? Was it an equal... Type, an equal type thing that you were. I thought it was a good night for everybody, but they, we could not have had that night had it not been for the start that those guys gave us. Uh, and, 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 and again, you know, that hasn't happened the last couple of seasons, so that, that's a good thing for these guys. The only disappointment of the evening was, you know, Herndon couldn't dress up the second half. He had some severe migraines at half and it didn't have his medicine here. So we just opted to keep him off the floor. He'll be fine tomorrow. I'm happy Larry, too. I mean, that was a big win against Colorado, an emotional win. And like you said, it was going to be a, a smaller crowd and no disrespect to Florida a but a lesser opponent. But you didn't seem to have that type of letdown. But were you pleased with that as well? It was the defensive edge. I mean, I, I thought they took it upon themselves early in the game to, I want to say the first time out, it was 8-2. to two. And so they, they had that defensive edge. That we'll need because, with the, you know, as wonderful as last Saturday was, I mean, it's not like we set records on offense. We made 55, 56 points. So we're going to have to rely on defense, on defensive rebounding, uh, edge, tenacity, those kinds of things. Um, and then hopefully we'll find a new person on offense each game. Coach, you said that Sellers had, you know, pretty much the biggest transformation as far as body that you've seen. What was he able to do tonight, you know, as far as just, you know, jump hooks, he seemed like, and then defense, everything that made him so successful? Well, I think, you know, we talked about Junior Hankerson is in far better cardio shape, and that then everything seems to flower better. And I would say Matt in the same way. He drove himself to get, I mean, he still can't jump over a $2 <laughs> but you know what? He is in excellent shape. He's taking care of his body. He's gotten stronger. And he exudes confidence now because he can do things he never could do. And I, and I, I feel the same way about Junior. Junior looks more like he did in high school than a year ago. Very obviously, Jason has come in in, numer in the first three games and given you guys some, some threes and spark off the bench and just, you know, Talk about him. It seems like the redshirt year did do him some good, and it seems like he's a guy you have confidence in to come off the bench and, and put in the game. Yeah, the, our, I like our rotation now. I, I, you know, I think the minutes will be different. I try to remind those guys every day you could go from 18 to 3 and back to 12 and then down to 2. This isn't the NBA. I'm not putting you in at a certain mark and taking you out every game. But I think they understand that. And the fact that our staff has confidence in four or five of these guys is also a good thing. So, you know, if we can get find out where we're going to be in a week or so with Gorski and Washington, I think at least we have some pieces in place on some of those special nights. Coach, you, you really challenged your, your team with these, you know, one day off in between games a couple of times. And how pleased have you been with your ability to bounce back physically and, and uh, perform after these uh, small layoffs? You know, you have to have confidence in your medical staff, which we do. You have to have confidence in Turbo, our uh, trainer, and, uh, and in Rob, our strength coach, uh, to make sure they're doing the right things with these guys that are playing higher minutes. Now tonight, we won't have that. We, we should be sharp tomorrow and get a good shoot around and get a good uh, mental preparation uh, 
in the theater on Stetson and maybe a walk through uh, tomorrow afternoon on Stetson. But the one day turnaround is important and you know we too have the same dreams that our fans do and if we're where we want to be at the end of the year we're only going to have a chance for a one day prep to get to that next round. So it's good preparation. Uh, they like it better because they love the games so we move forward. Do you know anything about Stetson, Stetson right now? Yes, yeah, Stetson is down, I heard in the last few minutes, by about 16, 17 points at New Mexico State. They lost two heartbreakers, a last second uh, to their arch rival, Central Florida, who's in the Big East. Um, and then they lost a last second game on the road to uh, FIU, who's in Conference USA. So they played two really good opponents, lost at the buzzer, and they played two weaker opponents that they blew out. So. Uh, you know, I think we're going to have our hands full. I, this is a good team. I know the coaches, and they'll have them ready. Coach, there's, coach do you expect uh, Washington or Gorski to play on Wednesday? I think there's a chance that Gorski could. He had a pretty good workout today. I just I don't want to put him in harm's way. And if he can't grab rebounds and catch hard passes, I, I, I don't want to go that way. Uh, originally, I was really hopeful that we could get him for these two games. Uh, but I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to go backwards medically. So I'm confident that these uh, doctors and, and uh, Turbo will give us the right idea tomorrow. Coach, did you work with these teams that you're playing this week to kind of schedule all against each other with Florida and Amsterdam? Well, this is part of a tournament actually. Okay. Uh, Northern uh, Colorado, FAMU, Stetson, and New Mexico State is all part of a tournament. And we return the game next year to New Mexico State. Coach, 21 assists still, even with the minutes that your backup's got, sometimes they want to get in and shoot the ball and get yeah. there. So are you still pleased with how they move the ball, share it, even with the minutes the backup's got in? Yeah, I, th I think we're very unselfish. I actually thought a few of our turnovers were overpasses today, which it's hard for me to be critical about that. But, uh, you know, there's a pattern that's developed because we played some really good teams so far that are going to win some games and perhaps some not such good teams, but the common denominator have been we've been getting 20, 21 assists a game, which is good to see because, you know, I think that's more of our offensive DNA than just go by somebody. Thanks, Coach.